hi welcome to the session today we are going to discuss about color models a color model is an abstract mathematical model describing the way of colors can be represented as tuple of numbers typically three or four values of components are there a color model is a specification of a color coordinate system and the subset of visible colors in this coordinate system the whole range of colors can be created from a small set of primary colors there are two kind of color models additive color model and subtractive color models additive color model it uses light to display the colors colors preserved in additive models are the result of transmitted light for example rgb color model subtractive color model it uses printing ink to display colors color preserved in the subtractive models are the result of reflected light example cmi color model the use of color models it is helpful to understand how color is represented on a video monitor it is a very useful in graphics applications it is used to describe color output on printers and plotters various color models are listed here rgb color model yiq color model cmi color model hsp color model and hls color model rgb color model rgb color model is an additive color model the primary colors are red green blue if the three colors can be mixed to produce the white color in the sense that colors are called as a primary colors the standard additive primary colors are red green blue rgb color models the colors can be represented in cube order unit cube so the values are 0 to 1 red color can be represented by 1 comma 0 comma 0 and the green color represents using 0 comma 1 comma 0 blue color represent using 0 comma 0 comma 1 the secondary color if two colors are mixed to produce the new color the particular new color is called as a secondary color the combination of primary colors red and green produce yellow color in the cube representation there are yellow cyan and magentas are the secondary colors red color representation is 1 comma 0 comma 0 and the green color representation 0 comma 1 comma 0 so based on the red and green combination the yellow is produced so the yellow can be represented as 1 comma 1 comma 0 same way all the secondary colors are derived the magenta color represents as 1 comma 0 comma 1 because it is the combination of red color and blue and the cyan can be represented as 0 comma 1 comma 1 because it is the combination of green and blue here the black color can be represented as 0 comma 0 comma 0 and white color can be represented as 1 comma 1 comma 1 here the cubes cross sectional diagram is given the black color to white color that is the diagonal this diagonal area gives the gray color 0.5 comma 0.5 comma 0.5 it represents the gray color if the gray color moves towards the black in the sense it produces the dark gray that means if 0.25 comma 0.25 comma 0.25 give the dark gray if suppose 0 0.75 comma 0 0.75 comma 0 0.75 in the sense it gives the light gray because it is towards the white color so here the rgb input device and output device are listed here 
Next, CMI color model. CMI color model is an subtractive color model. The basic color components are cyan, magenta, and yellow. This is also similar to the RGB color model. Here, the 0, 0, 0 represents white. In the RGB, 0, 0, 0 represents the black. So, the cyan can be represented as 1, 0, 0 and magenta color represented as 0, 1, 0 and yellow color can be represented as 0, 0, 1. So, based on three colors, we can able to achieve the other colors. So, the blue color can be achieved by the combination of cyan and magenta and the red color can be achieved by the magenta color and yellow color combination and the green color can be achieved by the combination of yellow and cyan here the white color is 0, 0, 0 and the black color can be represented as 1, 1, 1 generally the CMI color model can be represented as CMYK because the K represents black color it is used in the printers from CMI color model we can able to retrieve the RGB color model and the same way the RGB color model we can able to retrieve the CMI color model so the conversion can be possible from the CMI color model we can able to get the RGB color model where the 1 comma 1 comma 1 represents the black color from the RGB color model we can able to retrieve the CMI color model so in this equation 1 comma 1 comma 1 represents white color next YIQ color models YIQ color model is the color space used in the NTSC color TV system employed mainly in the North and Central America and Japan Y represents Luma information and is the only component used by black and white television receivers I and Q represents the chrominance information I is the in phase and Q is the quadrature the YAQ system is intended to take advantage of human color response characteristics the eye is more sensitive to change in the orange blue range than the purple green range therefore less bandwidth is required for Q than for I this is the conversion matrix from the RGB we can able to get the YAQ color model in the same way the from the YAQ color model we can able to achieve the RGB components next HSV color model H means Q and S means saturation and V represents value this color model defined by the hexagon the top of the hexagon is derived from the RGB the outer edge of the top of the cone is the wheel with all the pure colors the Q a color attribute that describe a pure color from 0 degree to 360 degree red represents at 0 degree and yellow at 60 degree green at 120 degree cyan represented at 180 degree and blue represented at 240 degree and magenta represented at 300 degree saturation it describes the amount of gray in a particular color from 0 to 1 where the 0 is gray and 1 is the primary color if the Q equal to 0 and S equal to 0 it gives the light red color and the H equal to 0 and S equal to 1 in the sense it gives pure red color value it describes the brightness or intensity of the color from 0 to 1 if any Q 
we can able to take it as example if v equal to 0 and s equal to 0 it gives black color if v equal to 1 and s equal to 0 it gives white color if v equal to 1 and s equal to 1 it gives the pure color which is represented in the q the cross section of hsv hexagon is given here the black and white axis represents the gray that is the value of v equal to 0 to 1 always the pure color gets when the s equal to 1 and v equal to 1 if the white is added in the pure color in the sense that is called as a tinge if the black color is added with the pure color in the sense that is called as a shades if the mixture of black and white color is added with the pure color in the sense that is called as a tones generally the human eye can be identify the 128 different cues 130 different tints and 23 different shades so totally we can able to identify the 82,720 different colors so the human can be able to identify the 82,720 different colors next HLS color model H means Q L means lightness and S is the saturation the both HSV and HLS works similar during the representation HLS represented by double hexagon so the pure color is getting in the middle of the lightness when the L equal to 0 0.5 it produces the pure color if s equal to 0 and l equal to 0 in a sense it represents black color if s equal to 0 and l equal to 1 in the sense it produces white color if any q we used if the s equal to 1 and l equal to 0 0.5 in the sense it gives the pure color Applications of color models RGB color model used for the color monitors and video camera CMA color model used for printing HLS color model used for image processing YIQ color model used for picture transmission Thank you